Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Albrecht AE2990 CB101112 meter radio. There's a very similar looking radio to this, it's called the Midland 42, and that's a CB, but the thing, the reason this one is basically twice the price is because it has sideband in it. Yes, you can modify it. There's lots you can do with many different CBs. You can see there in the background, we've got the Randy 3. And one of my actual favorites is the Thunderpole TX. I really rate that for a hundred pound. And the bands that it covers, it's, I just think it's excellent. The Thunderpole, the Randy is very nice, but pound for pound, the Thunderpole is better value. The kind of antennas that we tend to use on these are 130 centimeter budget antennas. You can buy them. This one's got BNC. The, there is an adapter, TNC adapter for the president, but they, all, they work great. But obviously, if you're looking for activity on CB 10, 11, 12 meters, you're not going to get it sat in your, in, your, in, your, in your lounge with a coffee just trying to get CB contacts on a little rubber duck. It's never going to happen. If you, go out, if you put one of these on, these are you know 130 centimeters long, and go and stand in your garden, you will get some contacts. And yeah, you're going to get more contacts on sideband because contacts will come in from all around the world. Now, you do hear contacts around the world on AM and FM, and you, you hear them on the UK channels, the EU channels, ETC, and the other channels that are accessible. Uh, but it's, it's sideband, it just sounds garbled. But, you know, you'd be surprised at the activity, especially at the moment, you know, the solar cycle is booming, not booming all of the time, but booming a lot more than it used to. So let's have a closer look now. These antennas are honestly about eight pound on AliExpress. If you go, you know, Amazon UK, more like fifteen, um, and there's the the Chrome ones. Many people do fit a counterpoise. They clip it to the bottom here where the BNC connector is, and that's about 140 centimeters long, and it acts almost like a dipole. Let's say because you've got this end, um, but then you need to, uh, the counterpoise is going to give you better reception, especially on, on you know better better transmission, especially. And obviously you need to be careful with your SWR. So let's just take this out of the box. Get yourself a load of uh, rechargeable batteries. There is a rechargeable pack. I'm going to make separate videos on that made by Dwayne. And if you check out the Facebook page for the Albrecht, you'll see that Dwayne's selling the, uh, a lithium battery pack and also a 25 watt amplifier that just bolts to where the battery goes. Now, I've never, ever used one of these. So that's my little charger that I use. These are excellent, like seven pound on Amazon. And then you buy the batteries separate. And batteries are not, are not expensive um, at all. It's actually really handy that we can use AA batteries. So just looking at the box, very nice box. I know it's the president do very nice boxes. There is a drop-in charger. There is a another 12 volt charger there, cigarette lighter adapter, and a microphone, speaker microphone. It, it, I wonder if that works with your Bofeng microphones. I've got a few of them lying around here. Uh, and so, yeah, very nice, desirable picture. You know, it's an unusual device. It's the, the actual radio part is small and chunky with a BNC and a couple of knobs. Um, but there's a this big area just for the battery. So let's take them out of the box. Take it out. Let's see what's included in this box. Let's open the lid and we just remove all the contents. Quite, it's, it's a lot smaller than I expected, the, the actual device. And, and lighter as well, there's your little battery pack. Instruction manual. And rubber duck, which is nowhere near going to be adequate for a device like this. I mean, look at it. You're not going to do nothing with that. And a carry handle strap. Checking. So very basic packaging, just this cardboard box and the other colourful one that you saw. Always keep your boxes because if you're gonna, if you decide to sell one day and all the packaging, it does increase the value. That's what we're looking at there. We'll look closer at the buttons in in a minute. Big strap on the back, big strong one. BNC clarifier and volume and on off. Let's get some batteries and then we'll take this film off. 
I would say that would get easily, that's easily going to get scratched. So you need to think about you know, protecting that somehow. And then what's that there? Squelch. Is it might gain and RF gain? My eyes are so bad. Noise limiter, noise blanker, possibly. So it says here ML, MS, is that memory? Scan, M, another SCN button there. Mode, is that high low power step clarifier? Channel, channel 19 and 9 there. That says squelch, mic gain, RF gain. Function button, up and down, PTT. There's your strap, that's where your battery just seems to clip in from one side. Got a little sort of catch there. That's for our carry strap, I guess. And then the buttons on the top. Clarifier. Yes, on and volume. Speaker and microphone connector under here. And BNC. Quite a small display. About the same size as a Yaesu 817, if you ask me. But, like I said, AM, FM and sideband. So let's get some batteries in our E2990. The actual case is quite light, so it looks easy to break. Now you can buy spares anyway, but it's actually uh, quite a light device. So you can see there's a little tab there. Now you can probably just pull it with your thumb and then open it from the top. I've got this. Just gonna gently open it up like so. I'm just gonna be careful. Like so, and just pull it open. So you can see that's the batteries go in each half, okay? You can see there's some sort of control circuitry there that I'm sure is very important that you're gonna need. So all the, the compartments uh, are labeled. I've charged these batteries up. Like I said, I got this from Amazon. It was like six quid. It just works brilliant. It actually charges up uh, with USB. Watch this. I think they're brilliant. USB, look, and it tells you when they're charged. And they, they, they do small AA, AAA batteries. They do the square batteries. So anyway, let's get the batteries in here. And like I said, it's clearly labeled which way round they go. You've got the tab at the bottom as well. And that, you can buy a battery pack. We're just gonna get these in. I did this once before, and in front of everyone, I put batteries in the wrong way round. How silly was that? So that's one half, and I like using these kind of batteries because they're cheap as chips. Not the chips are cheap. Not the chips are cheap anymore. Cheap as chips, and um, I've got loads lying around, and you can buy quite high capacity ones. I'm not sure why I've decided to go with the green. Oh, my battery short? Am I? One, two, three, four. I thought it was eight. I do have more batteries. Let's have a look. Is it nine, is it? That's an unusual figure, isn't it? So let's find the ninth battery. Right. Let's get it the right way around. Got your tab at the top, so you... It's like an alligator sandwich. Do you need to make sure it slots in correctly? And then it just clips together. Now I've had a go at sliding this on the radio and I did find it quite stiff to do it. Um, oh, it feels so much heavier now that you've got, now you've got some batteries in there. But in a good way, confident that it's, yeah. I do think, it, if you drop this item, I do think it wouldn't be that hard to break it. So probably recommend getting a, a leather case if you're going out and about at home, it's fine. You know, you can, I think you can buy a, a kit that, um, let's put it slip in there. You can buy a kit um, where you can just, this part goes to a cigarette lighter uh, and then just plug it in on your power supply and it's like a base station. I think that's a, that's a good idea. And there's some really good cases out there for sale. So that's how you put the battery pack on. I actually recommend if you ever use it, you get a big long one point, 130 centimeter antenna like this one, but for now we'll just put the 
the rubber duck on. I'm not expecting to receive anything with a an antenna of that length inside my house. On a hill, yeah, I think we probably probably would. So BNC connector you, with a BNC, you plonk it on until it slides down, then turn it towards, towards and down. So let's turn it on for the first time. Oh, wow, it's actually a really nice blue display. So you've got volume here. Now, remember, I've never used one of these ever, so I don't even know what channel we're on. It does feel nice to hold. When I've watched videos, I thought, oh, it looks a bit big and a bit like a shotgun, I don't, I, but actually it feels nice. So the channel, the channel change is these two buttons here. You've got function and channel. So if we're going up and down, look. So we go to, I know it's 27 cent, tends to have activity. 27 there. Uh, squelch, you press this once and it says squelch here in small writing. See if you can see that. And so when it says squelch, you can move it up and down with the with the button. There's a timeout, so hit it once, squelch. And then we're doing the squelch numbers there. See it? There's a bottom signal thing there at the bottom. Let's keep it quite low. Now what's that? Is that mic gain? Yeah, look, you can see above the 50, it says mic gain. Press it again. RF gain. I'm guessing that most of the time you'd leave that on, wouldn't you? You've got this function button. And when you put, hit the function button here, you can select the blue item. So on here it says M. Let's do that again. Function, oh, very bright. Lots to learn about this radio. Back with new videos soon.